Donald Trump and current President Joe Biden speak no foreign languages, whereas Barack Obama speaks Indonesian. George W. Bush can speak Spanish, although he's quite shy about his abilities. No quiero destruir un idioma muy bonito. And Bill Clinton is fluent in German. Berlin is fly! But to encounter some truly polyglot presidents, we have to turn the clock back a little bit. Thomas Jefferson, for example, claimed that he learned Spanish in only 19 days during a trip across the Atlantic with just the help of a copy of the famous Spanish novel, Don Quixote. Looks like I'm not the only one who likes using clickbait. In fact, most 19th century presidents spoke Latin and or Greek, which were common to study in school at the time, and often French or German as well. The only US president known to who spoken an Asian language apart from Barack Obama was Herbert Hoover, who spoke Mandarin Chinese from a stint in China along with his wife. And they would speak Chinese with each other when they didn't want to be understood. Interestingly enough, there is only one US president who spoke English as a second language. Born in a town of Dutch settlers in New York State, Martin Van Buren's native language was Dutch and he learned English at school. But the most multilingual president of all is John Quincy Adams. Latin, Greek, French, Dutch, Spanish, Italian, German, and Russian.